is Bridget Fitzgerald. I've been doing circus and doing aerial arts for the past just about 15 years. I started as a student at Circus Juventus in St. Paul, which is a really great school, and I've been teaching at Zelias Aerial Arts here um, for the past five years. Um, it's a really amazing space. We're located in Northeast Minneapolis. I started when I was 10. I've been loving it ever since. <laughs> I reconnected with Meg, who owns the studio I work at now, Zelias, um, because she needed a teacher's assistant for a program she does at the U of M, where I was getting my degree. Um, so I helped her out and then started coaching here at the same time, and I've been working there ever since. I majored in political science and sort of was finishing up and looking into if I wanted to do a grad program or uh, start working, and then realized that I like loved my side job way more than any of the stuff I was about to start doing, so I just decided to stick with it. I coach just about all the classes here, and I love it. We teach all the way from three to full-blown adults, um, beginners to quite advanced students, and it's um, really amazing. So this is my only job. My day job is my like passion job, too. <laughs> I sometimes like to describe aerial arts as almost a mix between gymnastics and dance, so there's obviously a very physical element to it, um, but it's a performance art, it's not, we're not competing, we're not trying to hit points, but there are big elements, big sort of dramatic and exciting and sometimes scary pieces to it, but uh, hopefully all of those things are combining to tell a story like you would in dance, um, so it's kind of bringing that very physical and the artistic pieces together. Circus arts is super, super fun, but it can also be dangerous if you're not being safe. And I think it's really important that new students um, learn in the studio and make sure their equipment and their instruction is really, really great. Um, anybody can do it, but I think it's really important to make sure you're doing it safely. <laughs> I love that now people know what I'm talking about when I say I teach circus. Like they have something in their head because they've seen it usually, um, which is really great. And um, as a teacher, it's really good for me that more people are doing it. I love living in Minneapolis and living in the Twin Cities um, and just being a part of the kind of the performance and art community at large. Like I think it's just such a great city and area for people that are doing this kind of work and just the kind of people that you meet and how supportive everyone is of doing creative work, which is great. Um, for circus and aerial arts in particular, I think we have a really um, surprisingly like large and active aerial and circus community here, which is really fun. Um, and I think, especially in the last few years, it's been growing really fast. So we're really focused here on creating a really safe um, environment and safe coaching environment, both in terms of everyone's physical bodies, of course, that's number one, but then also um, it's a really supportive, great space for our students. Um, and we always say, before any performances, we'll say confidence, courage, and strength to each other, um, which I think is obviously how you want to feel in the air. It's what you want to be projecting to your audience. And then it's also kind of something that you can take away from it, like into the rest of your life. Um, because most of our students are recreational, they're doing this once or twice a week. But I think it can be a really, really amazing way to kind of like bump up how you're feeling about yourself, how you kind of can carry yourself in the world. Everybody can learn this if they want to. Like if you kind of put the time in and you put the work in, it's a skill like any other skill that can be taught and learned. Um, everyone has their own kind of timeline with that, of course, but anybody can do it. It's hard stuff. It's asking a lot of your body, but more so it's like kind of figuring out how to sort of stay in your body and let yourself just do the things. And you really can do a lot, even if you feel like you can't do a lot. Like, <laughs> which I, I love when people sort of realize like, because some of our students are very nervous or very apprehensive or think they're not going to be able to do any of the things that they want to do and seeing that change and that kind of shift can be so rewarding um, as a coach and just as like a human being <laughs> as silly as that is um, we've gotten some like really really great uh, feedback from parents of our students saying like I can really see the difference or like my kid is like talking to me now or and like which is 
astonishing for a 13 year old, right? With our beginner classes or our all level adult classes, it's like everyone is just there to have a good time or to learn a new skill and it's one of the most like supportive class environments I've ever seen. Like people will clap for each other, like they're so excited because everyone gets that we're on like our own kind of progression. I love our adult beginner students because I think they're like the coolest. <laughs> In terms of where I want to kind of keep going with this, I definitely want to keep improving as a coach and a performer, and I really um, want to do more collaboration with other artists and other um, sort of mediums, and we've done some work with like theater productions, and that can be really exciting, or maybe to work with like local musicians or something along those lines. I also love choreographing for other aerialists. Um, one of my personal favorite things is seeing like my friends or family that will come to our shows and they can pick out the pieces that I uh, coached and choreographed out of like the set and that makes me feel like I'm like doing something artistically that's interesting for, for myself. Here at Zelias we do session classes so you're signing up for a series of weeks um, which we really love because it kind of it's making sure that the coaches know all the students that are going to be in class and kind of what they're working towards and what their kind of appropriate level and um, what they've been doing. So we do session classes. There's our longer fall session. We'll start in early September and run through just before Thanksgiving. And that includes our fall student showcase, which is really amazing. So the students have eight weeks to kind of build a piece the weekend before Thanksgiving, that showcase, which is open to the public. Following that, we have our pre-holiday session, which is a shorter, it's four weeks, which can be a really great time to try it if you don't want to commit to like two months of classes. Most of my performances will be sort of private events and such. We're in the very early stages of planning sort of a winter cabaret in early December. Myself and some of the other coaches here, which is going to be really fun.